What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you FaceTime working from an Apple device. I'm gonna use the iPad. It has to be running iOS 15, um, which I just installed the beta on here. And uh, so if you don't have the beta, you will be getting it this feature sometime this fall, the fall of 2021. And we're gonna video chat with an Android device, someone on an Android device. You can do multiple people in the chat. I only show a one-to-one -one chat, but this is freaking cool. I'm so glad it's finally come here. Um, again, Android will not have its own uh, app or anything like that, but let's check this out and walk you through the whole process of how it works. All right, so let's jump into this. What you're gonna do is open up FaceTime. And then from here, you can either do a uh, new FaceTime or create link. Now, if you're gonna be doing this with somebody on Android, you cannot do new FaceTime. You have to do create link. Before I create the link though, you're gonna see of any upcoming right here. You can delete these. All you do is swipe over and you can delete it. If you swipe it that way, it doesn't do anything. If you hit the little I, you can share the link. You can delete the link. So you have multiple ways to delete the link. I don't know if you can rename this. Now you can't, can you rename it? Now you can't rename it. But otherwise you can just delete it this way real quick. It lets me and there you go that's deleted otherwise just hit create link and then from here you can pretty much uh, copy the link and then send it whatever way you want uh, you can send it via messages if you're on a phone this is a tablet so I don't have I can't like, text it um, and you can send it through any of these other services email anything you really want or again copy it and send it any way you want once you have the link they have the link it works best I noticed in Chrome when the other person on Android uses it. So if they have Chrome, uh, make sure they paste it or click on it and it opens up in Chrome um, because you'll see in the video chat I'm about to do that uh, it has an issue with Samsung internet uh, browser. But if you use Chrome on that phone, it works perfectly fine. Or if you use the browser built into some of the apps, like um, when I was trying it through Twitter, it had an issue that it wouldn't, uh, it would open up the app, but it would block out the video. So it's kind of wacky, but it works perfectly through Chrome when the person on Android uses it through Chrome. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm gonna open up FaceTime. I'm going to create a link here. I'm going to copy it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tap on that. Latrell should be joining up. Here he is, Latrell. Every time I come in, I gotta turn on the uh, the uh, the speakerphone. Okay, better. It was a little pixelated in the beginning, and now it's kind of cleared up. I still want to say Duo is, is clearer than what the what these calls do. But uh, what's going on, man? How are you? Duo is definitely a lot a lot clearer. I know if we're by this population sign, the service would be pretty good, so I decided to come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a FaceTime call. You're you're calling. I, I called you a little bit earlier, but you're on the Galaxy Z Fold 1 or 2 again. I forget which one you said. The 1. Galaxy Z Fold 1. And then, so I sent you the invite through... Um, through Twitter, but ultimately when you tried it through Twitter, it didn't work. It wouldn't populate your video. So you copied the link and you put that link into Chrome. Is that correct? Yeah. Not sure why Samsung internet didn't work, but at least we know that now. But Chrome did, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. How, do I, does my screen look okay or am I pixelated? No, you're perfectly fine. Uh, now you're a little pixelated right after you said that, but <laughs> I can send you a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. A little de delay too, though. There is a delay, you said? I said it's like a uh, three-second delay. Three-second delay. I mean, this is beta software, but um, I mean, so far, so good. It's cool you're on an Android device. I'm on an Apple device. This is the first time FaceTime has allowed anything like this, so pretty cool stuff. Um, now, now, let me... Let me uh, Flip this around. It still look good. Well, it looked backwards at my end, though. Yeah. Well, I, I can see. Um, it, it does look clearer. It definitely looks clearer. It almost looks like you're in the wide, the wide um, angle camera. It looks like it's in the wide yeah, angle. That's true. It, it looks like it's not only flipped, but it's like I'm not sure why. If I turn my phone right, it turns left. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, this looks a lot better. This is a, a lot less um, pixelated. It's a lot clearer for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's not like that front camera is garbage, you know? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So the camera's clean and everything. You just said it's, it's blurry. Yeah, yeah. But I know it's loud over here. It's a lot of traffic. It's a lot of traffic right up. For sure. Well, all right, man. Lertrell has his own channel. I'll link it down below. Check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of Android and Samsung stuff and other stuff as well. Oops. <laughs> it's all loud. But uh, thanks for doing this with me, dude. I appreciate it. I also wanted to show you what it looks like if you get an invite on the Android side. So I've clicked on the link and it has opened directly in the Chrome app. I'm going to put my name in here. Put whatever name you want. Hit continue. It's asking for access to my camera and microphone, so hit allow. So you're gonna see me talking on video and it's not gonna match up with what I'm saying right now because it didn't, on the screen record, it didn't record my voice. But ultimately, once you get to this point, all you really need to do is hit join. But before that, you'll see some buttons at the top where you can mute your video, mute your audio, change your cameras, change the microphones on here. Uh, if you have multiple cameras or multiple microphones, you can share the link, you can join the call. It's There's actually quite a bit of things that you can change or amend on here. Um, and it's all worded out. It's not like just symbols, you have to figure that out. So I do like that everything's worded so that it's easy to figure that stuff out. And then once you do join the call, you do have to wait for the person on the Apple side to accept it. Even though they invited you, they still have to accept it after you join. So there you guys go. I thought it worked pretty well. I mean, it is in beta, so it's definitely not perfect. It works the best through Chrome. Samsung internet uh, browser didn't work well on Latrell's side. He said he couldn't get it to work. I initially tried it through some links on Facebook Messenger and it opened up in the in-browser on that app. Did not work. So it has that same issue. So if you if you don't use Chrome, it seems like, at least after, after this first beta, that the issue that it gets is the person on the Android side is unable to broadcast their video to the person on the Apple side. So the person on the Apple side can't see the person on Android's video. Um, the person on Android, I think, can see the video of the Apple person, but it doesn't work. It's, it's just too wacky. So it's better just to make sure you either copy the link or make sure it opens directly in Chrome regardless so that it ends up working because there is no FaceTime app on Android and it ultimately goes or on, or on Windows. So you'd have to open it directly in the browser. Thanks for watching. We see you guys down the road.